Hi, my name is Sean Mars. I'm a senior application engineer with Hawkridge Systems, and I'm going to be going over a couple different ways to be looking at and comparing results from multiple studies in SolidWorks flow simulation. So the first thing I want to mention before we get into the compare tool is that if you right click on the results folder of a loaded project, we can go to the summary tab, and this gives us this high level overview of basically stats and setup uh, about this project. Now, when we have multiple projects uh, that are swapping out uh, different components or changing simulation parameters or something along those lines, we oftentimes want to compare them side by side. So if I go into my compare tool, I can choose to look at the what's called the results summary, exactly why I just picked that up, for whatever projects I'm interested in. And then hit compare, it'll pull that information in. And what it's going to do is it's going to once again give me that high level overview for any of these projects. So the thing that's really nice about this is that I can quickly take a look at things like how long did this take? Did each of these studies actually take to solve? Oftentimes that's useful uh, information for comparing uh, mesh setup or level of detail or if I need to run a parametric study. How is the change in geometry changing the number of elements that need to be generated for this study? And then the other things I really like to be able to check are the general settings. So these are supposed to be all the same study, but if I didn't clone them, then there could possibly be a discrepancy in the setup in the general options there. So I want to make sure those are all uh, standardized across those studies. And finally, what's really nice is that these kind of general parameters that are going to be in the results summary or give you a minimum and maximum and other ones like such as the temperature in the solid uh, is what I'm actually looking at to compare across these studies so since I have heat conduction in solids turned on I'm getting this result in here and this is uh, what's especially nice about the results summary is that it's generated by the system so I don't have to tell it to do this I know I'm gonna have this all this information available for all of my studies uh, and it's going to be a good way to compare them directly so another thing I can do to help compare these uh, studies is to go back to the definition and we'll add in a cut plot and a goal plot. Go ahead and pull that info in. And the first thing I'm going to go and take a look at is the goal plot. So when you have these different studies, what we can do is we can choose to highlight minimum and maximum values across those. Or even better, we can look at the difference between these goals in this delta option here. So we have to choose one study to be the reference project, and then we can see how uh, those values are changing in reference to whichever one is chosen here. When we're in a cut plot, we can do something similar as well. So by default, it'll show up as this original mode. But then we can choose to uh, look at a difference. So once again, we'll be looking at it relative to one of these studies. And if I want to open this up a little larger, I can either expand out here or double click and have it opened in Windows. And you can see here the color plot is completely changed. So the range value is now based on the differences from that two millimeter study. The other thing we can do right here is we can merge all three of these plots and have them overlaid on top of each other. So you can see these options merge maximum and minimum. In this case, I mean I'm worried in this case I'd be worried about maximum temperatures. So I can go ahead and merge all three of these on top of each other. And these allow us to see the overall minimum or maximums all on top of one plot. So if looking at them side by side isn't quite cutting it, we can also overlay them with this merge option. Moving out of the compare tool, let's say that I just want to look at things in this study. So oftentimes I find myself uh, making small changes in either the SOLIDWORKS model or the flow simulation setup, and I'm, re I'm looking at the same plots over and over and over again. So there is an option at the top of our results folder called Scenes, and it allows us to insert what's called a scene plot. Uh, and a scene plot is actually just a collection of other plots that you've already created. So in this case, if I turn on this temp and airflow option, what it's going to do is it's going to activate my cut plot, 
my flow trajectories. Uh, it's also going to reorient my camera, so it's exactly at the uh, orientation and zoom that I want it to be, and it'll even hide components. So I have a couple components that we're going to get in the way of viewing this plot, and now I can just quickly uh, come back to this. Every time I rerun this, I can just activate this instead of going and choosing between multiple result plots. So similarly, I have a mesh one, so oftentimes before I fully run the study, I want to run the mesh multiple times to make sure I'm getting the resolution that I want. So in this case, I have a heat sink. I want to make sure that ch the channels, the areas between the fins or any cutouts I have are getting properly meshed uh, for the full uh, solution there. And so this is something I'm checking all over and over and over again uh, during the setup. So in, to create a scenes plot, it's really easy. All we need to do is go ahead and activate any plots that we're interested in. So I'm going to turn on this surface plot. I'm going to grab my goal plot here. It's just going to give me kind of a summary of my goals. Get it into any orientation that I might want here. Uh, if I want to hide or show any components, I could do that now as well. And then all I'm going to do is right click on scenes and say insert. And it's just going to save all of those set all that setup that I just did. Now the cool thing here is if I wanted to change something, like I want to change the orientation or uh, components or anything like that, I can always right click and update that scene plot to the new settings that I have. Okay, so uh, that is looking at the result summary across multiple studies in the compare tool as well as looking at the difference and merge options for looking at multiple plots at once and the scenes plot, which is going to be saving our uh, various result plots for easier viewing. If you liked this video, be sure to check out our other videos on flow simulation as well as SOLIDWORKS in general. And as always, thanks for watching.